Well, hello everyone. Avian Zero here. It's been a while, but I'm back with a new Minecraft LP. Yes, uh, it's been like three months since I actually uploaded an LP video. This is because of um, my school and uh, everything around it just takes up a lot of time, and I have to prioritize that over playing Minecraft, for example. In my free time, I usually actually develop uh, my mod because I also enjoy doing that. So that, uh, here is the trusted intro screen again on my channel, and uh, yeah, I will be doing a new series. It will be uh, something like Minecraft with mods. It will be actually very similar. However, I will not be taking it as serious as I usually um, do with Minecraft mods. I will just be playing around and just chill because I want this to be a relaxing experience. Usually I was like very pressured because I wanted to do good and I wanted to do just entertain you guys as much as possible. I still want to entertain you guys but I just want to do it in a way in which I can also enjoy playing. Uh, as you see I got 30 mods loaded up so that should be enough. We got Optifine, okay that's obvious. Forge, Code Chicken Core, this is for another mod, not enough time items, which is for the um, recipes. The Method Dimension, which is a, a work in progress, but the dimension that we can explore. Ray Minimap. Jimmy Furniture adds a lot of furniture to the mod. Fish Nets adds a way of farming fish. Admiral Mod, which is my mod. Mod. Wow. Backpack, which uh, adds uh, uh, like a chest that you can carry around, but in the form of backpacks. Biomes of Plenty, adding tons of new awesome biomes in the world, which I love. Uh, I could have gone for Extra Biomes Excel, but I uh, played around so much with Extra Biomes Excel that I just wanted to see another mod. This one has like 60 biomes, jeez. I think even more. Damage Indicators, you might know it, just shows this little screen with um, the mob stuff. Zayat Blocks adds a lot of cool blocks that uh, add like ways of stocking them up in a single block, items in one block, really useful. Uh, dungeon Pack adds different kind of uh, dungeons into the world that spawn everywhere, pretty cool. This is also a, a supportive mod. Infernal Mobs makes it so that there are like Diablo kind of mobs uh, spawning, uh, for example like an overpowered creeper or something, with a lot of different um, powers maybe a higher explosion radius or maybe he does some kind of poison effect to us. I don't know. I haven't really explored that too much. I just thought it was cool because it adds a new challenge. Mutant creatures. Uh, yeah, mutant creeper, mutant zombie, you will see those. Project Zulu, which adds a lot of cool mobs and items into the game. Short pedestal. I thought it was pretty cool and added up with the furniture mod. Uh, Twilight Forest, a new dimension for us to explore. The weapons mod, Valkyrie's weapon mod, I used this before in my LPs. Lots of new cool weapons. Uh, I think also think these are two supportive mobs. Weather and Tornadoes by Koros, yes, everyone knows these. Uh, Wild Case is an awesome work in progress mod that I found. It actually adds these spikes and vines and mushrooms to caves, which is cool, depending on the biome we're in. And Mob Strong Control makes it possible for me to add all kinds of mobs to the biome set of biomes are plenty. Um, you might have noticed I don't have more creatures because I really don't like the HD textures of more creatures. Someone please make a 60x60 60 60 texture pack for that. If it's already there, please link it to me. Okay, so, bam. I did a lot of testing, a lot of shit, a lot of awesome stuff. And here we go. First things first, Ray Minimap was glitching out, awesome. Okay, here we have an example of um, the better... The caves, the wild caves. Look at this, it's awesome. It makes everything so much more atmospheric. We have some coal here, which I will definitely get. That, those are some biomes of planted trees. This is going to be a very exciting adventure for me, I hope. And I'm still in creative mode. Let me fix that. And here we are. Yes. Actually, um, flew around a little in, in this world because you might be noticing that we're in a taiga world and you're thinking, what? This isn't exciting at all. It actually isn't because this is boring as shit. <laughs> um, but 
I saw some awesome biomes in the distance and I decided to take this world and you will see them in a second but first I will add coal because damn coal I need it yes you will be seeing this screen uh, during my playthrough because I need it for the recipes and such uh, uh, been a while since I actually played some legit Minecraft. I did a lot of testing for my mod and such. And uh, yeah, it's good to be back. Actually, it's really good to be back. You guys may be wondering what will happen with the other series. I will probably continue Terraria at some point. Um, ooh, there's a cave over there. Uh, because I really enjoy Terraria, what will give? This won't give me anything. Okay, wait. Uh, Terraria will actually be continued at some point, uh, but the normal Minecraft mods, I'm not sure about it, at least not the season that it started, because it's 1.2.5, I think, in which that uh, season takes place. This is actually 1.4.7, so this is very up to date, at least at the moment, that depends on when you look, when you watch this video, of course. Um, but yeah, I feel way better playing with an updated Minecraft because I will be able to use the newest features and use my newest Atmos Mobs mod because I update, update that to the newest version. Go away sheep, I don't need you. Okay, so I actually did some research on how to uh, get to the new biome. And I know how to do it, but we still need to collect a lot of resources for it. So. Just take it easy, Davy. Take it easy. No, oh, I should actually made a pickaxe there. I wanted to get the string. Do I have no? I do not. Whoa! I actually should start going to the interesting area instead of just cave exploring. Oh, more string. Cool. None of the display spiders for that. Let's get a better pickaxe. Just to be sure. Uh, yes. As you see, you see all these spawners over there. Lots of new mobs. Um, and but those are not even all the mobs because if you make a mod, and I know this, there's an option to actually make mobs global and make them mod specific. If you make them mod specific, you can add as many mobs as possible without actually interfering with any other mod, which is actually awesome because you can make tons and tons, oh there we have some crabs, tons and tons of mobs without uh, making computers crash. We should actually get some food from him, huh? This is our opinion, yes. <laughs> but they look awesome. Yeah, there you see the biome that I meant. There was like a fungi forest biome there. I should actually start... Why don't I just make all the tools? I can just... Shiz. Wait a second. Uh, I need some stone. Yeah, some sand is also useful. Uh, need two stone blocks. Come on. Yes, okay. I actually have exams next week, so that might also be a part of why I'm trying to relax at the moment. <laughs> Give me some palm tree wood. Uh, I talking about palm trees. I actually wanted to install the Tropicraft mod, so I had like three new biomes. There's an angler. Oh, there's a wisp. Anglerfish should be nearby. Um, so I could like add three uh, new dimensions to my world, so I can just explore those and be happy for a long while <laughs> because those things are big. Tropical Twilight Forest. I haven't actually explored the Mephir mod yet because it's a work in progress but it looks very interesting because the mods, the mobs look uh, very nice, nicely modeled. Um, let's go to that new biome there. Um, but yeah, what was it? Oh yeah, Tropical because but um, it actually makes my world crash when I go to, to the Tropical realm. I'm really happy that I actually tested that before playing because else I would just fail miserably when I uh, because my world safe doesn't get loaded anymore the one that I use for it I don't know what's up with that um, Twilight Forest loads the Mephir dimension loads so 
I don't know what uh, is wrong with the Tropograph Dimension. It might have to do with some other mod that I am having, or I don't know. Hello, Mushu. Give me your food. So this is a fungi forest mo uh, biome. I keep saying mod for everything. Look at the water. It's all green. But this is awesome. We have a dragonfly over there. Uh, I think I can harvest these. I don't know what I use them for. Nothing. Hmm, what, do, what do I use these for? Palm tree planks. Okay. I can use those for my house. I can get these. For some food. Additional food is also awesome. Do you only get uh, mushrooms from the stem? Do you also get mushrooms from these? You also, you also get them from these, right? Love the leaves. What are you doing? Mobs usually just love to get in, get some screen time in uh, Let's Plays. You will see them just pushing the player when they're busy. Kind of funny. Something died. I don't know what. It sounded like a rabbit. Oh no, it's a squirrel. They, they should be able to swim, as you see. So, I don't know what mobs is actually... Look at the fucking toka beams they're holding. It's awesome. I made that. I found it out in one afternoon how to do that, and it was awesome. Toka beans. But we got some melon seeds and pumpkin seeds, so I, I don't complain about uh, them drowning. There's also a kind of jungly biome over there. Should explore it. The uh, sky color changes, actually. Pretty cool. Reef Manta. Come over here, you. Ah, oh, damn. That suck. <laughs> okay, so, uh, we got some food, right? Yeah, we do. It's almost like sad to start settling somewhere when you have this many. Oh, damn. More coal! We can pass by some new coal. Especially not in the beginning of the game. Are there new ores? I don't know, I don't think so. As far as I know, there are new ores here. I can get new ores in the Twilight Forest and um, Mephir biome though. That I mentioned. Which should be cool! I'm actually talking really low. Um, I should turn up the volume, maybe? Of my voice then, just not not Minecraft. I think Mike, you can hear Minecraft fine, probably. And it's getting dark. Cool. And we have a. Oh, we have some waterfalls. Do you hear the sound? I think that's uh, chorus mods. It actually adds that. It's pretty cool. Uh, taking my way out with uh, crafting table. Some dragonflies and some frogs. I hear wind. A parrot! How are we doing? Where's the parrot? Did he leave? Did he die? Did he glitch? Or he's certainly glitching, that's, that's for sure. Oh, uh, he left. I do have a way to. Oh, I do have melon seeds, so I could tame them. There's a new dragonfly over here. Oh, you might have already noticed the HUD over there for the, uh, the mobs. Is that a is that a mutant oh. creeper over there? Oh, it's a normal creeper. Phew. Oh, the mantis. Hello. Just exploring the area a little bit. I'm not afraid of creepers. Ha! <laughs> Just coming from the in between the bushes. Oh! Forgot how more cheaty they are recently. 